Hello, welcome to Creative You Yarn and Knitting and Crocheting Podcast. This is Katherine Kirby. It's been a little while and here I am. And today I have an exciting trunk show to show you from Knitting Fever and it features three yarns. Juniper Moon Cumulus, which is a um, say worsted to heavy worsted yarn. It's a number four. It's uh, Egyptian Mako cotton and a little bit of nylon and it is so soft. Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca, which is a, I believe, worsted to Aran weight and Juniper Moon Zooey, which is a cotton linen. So on with the show. So a trunk show is when a yarn shop owner requests samples from a yarn company and they agree to send some. Usually you keep them for about two weeks and then they have to be sent back. So I was explaining this to a lady one time. I told her just what I told you and she said, did you make all these things? I said, okay, shh. the elephants come in <laughs> carrying yarn in their trunks. This is Cumulus. I was just teasing her. Isn't that pretty? It's a cardigan. It looks like it is knitted in the round. I don't see anything that looks like seaming. And I don't have a pattern right here. But... This is called Pharos Cardigan, F-A-R-O-S. And you can get all of these patterns off knittingfever.com or from your local yarn store. They are also available on Ravelry. This is really soft. Oh, this is called Cirros Cow. And this is another cumulus pattern. I've had this pattern in the shop and I've wanted to make it, you know how it is. You only have so much time and there's so many things. This beautiful crocheted shawl that I have on is one of their crocheted patterns called Despina Wrap. And I'll tell you what, I wasn't real impressed when I saw it on the website, but once I put it on, I feel like this is mine. I guess I have to make one. And this is Melina sweater. This is a pretty pink. It's brighter in color that, than what it's showing up. I like the fact that the stockinette stitch is in the middle. This is a seamed garment, it has pretty stitch definition, and it looks nice and cozy. I think it'd be great with a pair of leggings. This is knitted with oversized needles, I would imagine. This is a, a cumulus top. You know what I notice on some patterns? Maybe the designers don't understand that your front and your back aren't equal, and I'll see a top, and it kind of flies up in the front, and that's because they, they haven't adjusted it for your bust. Your back is flat, your front is not. So, I like the bottom a lot, and it's nice and drapey and cozy. Okay, this, this I have shown before, and this is, this is worth seeing again. This is done with cozy alpaca. It drapes over your shoulders beautifully. It could also be a lap robe for a senior citizen. Or you could do a blanket out of this pattern, but this is super soft and cozy. This is called Stella Wrap. And I think it takes five or six skeins, but it's just gorgeous. It feels great on too. So what is new with all of you? Last night, my husband and I watched a romantic movie. I've been listening to this 
movie theme called Somewhere in Time. And it is the sweetest song by John Barry. Last night I said, well, let's see if we can get the movie. So we rented it. It is so romantic. The love of a lifetime. If you haven't seen Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve and, um, oh golly, the woman from Dr. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. It will come to me. It is a beautiful love story. It's a movie you could watch again and again. This is Cozy Alpaca sweater. And again, nice and soft. Called Georgia's Sweater. They just had a major composer die, Ernie Own, um, who died at 91 and did a lot of movie themes, Western themes, but my favorite was Out of Africa. And then there's a beautiful song called, um, there's another beautiful song he has that would just bring tears to your eyes. So this is Zooey and cute little poncho cover up. It might not look like much. I'm gonna show you my sunburn here. <laughs> we had a day at the pool with some friends and I really burnt. I'm starting to get a little paler. There we go. Yep, there we go. It feels great. Linen, linen wears like steel and yet it softens up as you continue to use it. Marina top, this is Zooey. And again, if you want a short top, you can make a short top, but this is a longer top, but it doesn't have to be. I know with the teens, definitely short tops, crop tops are popular right now. I've been knitting a bunch for grandchildren. I miss the reversible scarf in Cozy Alpaca. I love this. So this is the one side and that's the brioche side. And then it has a nice little solid color. Yeah, I think this is really savvy. Nice, nice stretch. And then this is also a Zooey pattern. The name escapes me, but it's a beautiful shawl. It is just lovely. And I know um, knitting shawls has kind of died down a little bit, but there are still a lot of people knitting shawls and they are great gifts, just wonderful gifts. Okay, a crocheted sweater out of Zooey. I hope you can see the pattern. It's a cardigan. And again, when they're not washed, they do feel a little um, rough, but that goes away. Holly, who comes into the shop, is doing a sleeveless um, top with a lacy pattern, like a vine pattern. And you know that she's doing it with fingering weight linens called Cadio um, Lino or Lino. And yeah, it feels kind of rough, but your hands kind of get used to it. And then this is a Zooey, a cardigan made out of Zooey. And I said, this must be for a very skinny person. <laughs> and there it is. It has nice drape, yeah. So I will be doing another podcast soon with my own things that I've been knitting up this summer. And um, I think I've shown you everything, which that's quite a bit. And um, if there's anything I can ever do, give the shop a call. I'll put my number in the description. And uh, it's been really, really hot here. It's been a major heat wave. I think when I got this sunburn, it was 104 that day. 
So a lot of people are staying in, keeping their air conditioning on, but I mean, people are knitting up a storm with these COVID restrictions. People are getting all kinds of projects done. So how about you? What are you making? I've been doing a lot of things for the grandkids and uh, I have to tell you a cute story. My two grandsons, Nolan and Tobin, they come over quite a lot, I voice it. And um, Nolan and I were watching Miracles in Heaven, a true story with Jennifer Garner about a girl that got a fatal small intestine disease where her intestines didn't move food along. So she had to have a tube tube feeds her belly was always distended queen latifah also starred in that movie and so her mother lost her faith in this journey as her child was sent home to die but then a wondrous thing takes place so i was crying now tobin's only five so he's not at the age where he really feels things nolan's eight so tobin was playing he kind of looked over at me grandma are you crying yet yeah. Second time, he looks over, Grandma, did, you saw this movie before, right? You're crying. The third time, he drags a big fluffy bath towel over and gives it to me. I thought that was so darling. So I've been boy sitting, trying to find things for them to do. And one day we just did a bunch of different things. And then I decided to stop at Nolan's school at the playground. The gates are open. Tobin had never been there before. And then lo and behold, another woman came with her son, which was about the same age. So Nolan just had a blast because kids aren't having other kids to play with, with all these restrictions. And when we got in the car to go home, there were fireworks. Someone had a party and there were fireworks. It's kind of frustrating because I pulled over, I got the little guy out of the car seat, got him out and the fireworks stopped. Put him back in, belted him in, drove along, the fireworks started. Pulled over, got all his contraptions undone, got him out, the fireworks stopped. But Nolan said to me, Grandma, I could not have asked for more. Doesn't that just do something to your heart? So I'll see you all again soon. I hope to get back to my 15 minute podcast and keep that smile and shine baby shine. Signing out, Katherine Kirby.